Hello parents and my lovely students, greetings of the day and today we will discuss why Olympiad exams are so important for school students. So it is very important to know about an exam before we allow our children to sit for it. We should be knowing about its details and all. So we will discuss it today that how it is important for school students. So a very warm welcome. I am Amit Modit. I have taught more than 8,000 plus students. I have guided several students to score 100% in mathematics and also guided and mentored students for various Olympiad exams. So today we will discuss that why it is so important. So before doing that, let us do a very important thing that is subscribe this channel. Also like and comment and share this fantastic channel that is VOS Vedantu Olympiad School where we are getting all the updates and knowledgeable content for our Olympiad preparations and many other competitive exams. So first tell me why or how many of you writing Olympiad exams this year again? So every year we are getting the Olympiads updates. So tell me on the chat box how many of you are writing? So what makes, my second question is, what makes it special for all? What it makes special for all? So we will tell the speciality of the exam. So let us start. So what are Olympiads? First of all, let us understand what are Olympiads. So Olympiads are a collection of competitive exams held for students studying in classes 1 to 12. So these are collection of competitive exams that are being there for a classes 1 to class 12 students. Any of the student from 1 to 12 can give such exam. They are being conducted on a national as well as international level. And they help encouraging the student from a similar academic genre or level to participate so that they get a broad area, they get a good platform to compete with other students of their same level. Then students analyze their strengths and weakness based on their performance. These exams motivates them towards the academic improvement. They are being able to improve their academic when they get such competitiveness among themselves in a healthy manner. So it motivates them to prepare well, to, to work more harder so that they can also compete well. Then students are judged based on their scientific reason and reasoning and logical ability because the questions are being asked in such a way that they help us to analyze also that which student have a good scientific reasoning capability, which student is having a logical ability. So that also helps in judging the students. Then benefits. If we look into the benefits of the Olympiad exam, so first of all, it gives the boost to the students' reasoning ability. Of course, they help the students assessing their capabilities and have a better idea of their potentials. Olympiad challenges the students intellect in such a way that it promotes a deeper understanding like if a child is just learning in a rote learning way so it is not keeping giving him a deeper understanding it's just asking or just helping him to learn by art. that's it but such olympiad exams help them to go deeper into because the questions which are being asked in such exams are different what normally school asks the questions. So Olympiad challenges students intellect in such a way that it promotes their deeper understanding. They sharpen the students analytical still skills which is very important for learning the problem solving, problem solving to analyze us, to take the decision. Very, very important, crucial thing that a child should definitely learn at an early level that how to make the decision, how to analyze the things. Competing at a national and international level provides students a different level of exposure. Of course, when they are interacting with so many students, 
where they are competing at the same platform. So, of course, they get a great exposure. Questions being asked in the Olympiad exams as the students better understand the concepts that they are taught in the class. So, here the questions being asked that is also different and they help in better understanding of the concepts. So, if we roughly try to understand that, is there any difference between school exams and Olympiad exams? Of course, I would say yes, really there are difference when the child goes for a school exams and when he sit for a competitive exam, there is always being a difference. There's a difference between the environment, there's difference between the questions, there's difference between the way of analyzing, that there's a difference between the way of thinking. So everything, everything we can say that when they are being compared, so somewhere we find that Olympiad exams or any competitive exams, the way of asking, the, the way of questioning are different from what school is asking. So, of course, if we see the exams, like in the school, basically we have CBSC, ICST, state or I. And of course, in the Olympiad, I won't say that Olympiad have a different syllabus, but Olympiad basically takes the same syllabus, which is being almost 80% of the syllabus being covered the same. But the questions are here conceptual. They have a reasoning. They have a advanced problem solving methods in them. You have to think. The child has to think. It has to tinker their brain. Then only they will be able to understand. If they do not have a deeper understanding of the concept, it would be difficult to crack the exams. Although they have the same subject like science, maths, GK, such exams are being taken in the Olympiad part. But their deeper understanding is very, very important. So what is the difference? Why a child needs, why a child needs a kind of a mentorship, right? If we say no, school is sufficient, no. Why a child is need, a child is needed some mentorship here? Because there's a difference between the school exam. School definitely prepares the child, but they prepare according to the subject related questions. They have a kind of a one mark, two mark, three mark. Okay. So that helps in enhancing the memorization technique. They just learn it by heart and come and deliver it. But when they go for the competitive exams, of course, the level of questions would be different. So here they need a kind of a different support. They have to think mentally for questions. They need some guidance. So mental aptitude, subject related, deeper concept questions, then objective questions, how to eliminate, like if the subjective questions comes, like if a child knows the answer, he can just write or if he doesn't know, he couldn't write, he cannot write. But in the MCQ pattern, sometimes we can eliminate, we learn the techniques, we tease the students the techniques to eliminate the three wrong answers and there is a possibility of getting the right answers. So it helps in enhancing the speed when they uh, are under the guidance, they help, uh, they get the help of enhancing their speed, accuracy, so that they can get well prepared for the future competitions. Then in the school exams, what happens? The direct questions are being asked. Objective questions, the marks content is less. Theory memorizations are being more. Test your memories, okay? So basically these exams help in testing your memory. But Olympiad, have the Olympiad always hidden in the statements. Problems always hidden in the statements. Mostly objective type, less theory memorization. High order thinking skills questions are being asked. Achiever questions are being asked. So that test your deeper knowledge. That sharpen the reasoning ability of the child. So that's why they are being different from school exams and they need mentorship. The students, the children need mentorship. So here, what we can just, like what we discussed is a kind of a gist here that prepares for the real world, gives an insight into the competition, how to deal with the pressure, how to deal with the test of rejection and promotion, how to learn 
to cope with the handling exams with good mental state and sound body. We have observed like students get sick during the exams. Why? Because they think about the exam so much that it, uh, it just led them to get sick. So such exams when they are preparing under the guidance, so they won't be feeling, they won't be feeling such kind of a tensions in their brain because they are getting a proper guidance. Then learn to how manage time efficiently. Again, time is again a problem for a lot of students that they knew things, but they couldn't complete the paper on time. So again, time management skills is also being learned when they are practicing regularly. Then building the bridges of education. So it connects the basic education to professionalism. That means they are learning the concept, but again, the application based questions when it is being asked in the competitive exam, so they are able to utilize them. So at Vedantu, we have been training the student. We have been educating the students for the Olympiads and students have done very well in the past. So we have fantastic results. So <clears throat> we are also starting a new courses. So for more details, you check on the comment box and the further links being pasted there. Thank you. And if you have any doubts being related to such, please comment below. Thank you so much.